Well, damn. I was not expecting that. Uh, Kai Kara France beat Steve Ersek in the very first round. Um, I was not expecting that at all. I was not expecting Steve Ersek to lose that fight. Um, pretty gutted about it because I quite like Steve Ersek. Now I thought going to the fight, Erseg would be too technical for him, too smart for him, and I thought Erseg would be, you know, too accurate. And no, clearly that wasn't the case. Kai Kara France was the unpredictable and explosive one, and the accurate one today. And that's how Kai Kara France won the fight. He he was able to put that pressure on Erseg. He backed him up a bit and, you know, he's able to eventually get him out of there in that first round. Um, unreal, to be fair. I mean, you know, they're both fainting a lot on the feet quite early on. There wasn't a load of action happening, but it, it was clear to see as well Kai Kara France was the stronger man. Um, and, yeah, it was clear in the clinch. But, I mean, I'm, I, 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 I'm shocked, to be fair. I'm shocked. But Erseg just... I, I was so surprised just to see Steve Urset get beat up on the fi on on the feet like that. Really surprised. I was not, I did not expect to see him get beat up on the feet like that, and that's what happened. I thought uh, I I really thought that Urset was the best guy on the feet, one hundred percent, and the best boxer in that flyweight division by miles. That that's honestly what I thought. So. I'm pretty shocked at this one about how easy it was for Kai Kara France as well. He was able to just faint his way in, in on the inside and explode on Steve Ersek and get him out of there. Like it, it was a strange, it was a strange one to me. It, it was a really strange one to me because, in my opinion, before this fight, I thought Steve Ersek should be the flyweight champ, but clearly there's still holes in the game. Very clearly. Um, Kai Kara France was just able to get on the inside so easily there, and he was just easily able to bait Steve Ersek out and, and was able to finish him. Simple as that, really. Fainting a lot on the feet. Ersek just wasn't really throwing. And, yeah, Ersek just didn't look himself, wasn't throwing enough, and just I, I don't think he used his range well enough at all. But fair play to Kai Kara France, you know, big, big, big puncher um, and explosive and unpredictable. And that's how he was able to get Ersek out of there. And clearly, I think, wanted it more tonight as well. I think it was very clear to see. I thought the game plan from Kai Kara France was very, was very good, very smart, to be fair. And he was just able to unleash on Steve Ersek. Because Ersek, you know, he left his chin wide up in the air, very high in the air. And that's what cost Steve Ersek. And I've always thought that's been the odd issue in Steve Ersek's game is that he just keeps his chin so high up. And, you know, when you're in there against Kai Kara France, who can, you know, bulk some shots over. Yeah, like, you're going to be in trouble, aren't you? But before the fight, I wasn't considering that. I just thought Ersek was too good for someone like High Cara France. But man, I was I was very, very, very bloody wrong with that one, in my, uh, though, if we're being real. Um, yeah, Kai Kara France, he's just very good at bulking shots over the top, and he's accurate with his shots as well. And he's got that power. When I think he... he He's, he hits very, very, very hard in that flyweight division. He's one of the hardest hitters, in my opinion. And, you know, his, his work rate was very good today as well. And I know it's just Steve Ersek just seemed off the game. He just seemed knackered in there from the very start. And as soon as Kai, and I just feel like as soon as Kai Kara France landed that first big shot on Steve Ersek, it made Ersek think a lot more defensively knowing that he has to respect the power of Kai Kara France and that made Steve Ersek hesitant to uh, really try and get his game going. I think that was the issue with Ersek today but he'll be back of course, he'll be back I hope so anyway um, 
But yeah, Kai Cameron France. I mean, where where is he ranked now? Because you just you I don't know you. It's just with Kai Cameron France, you just never know with him. But that's the good thing about watching Kai Cameron France. To be fair, you never know what you're going to get with him. And uh, that was certainly the case tonight. Of course, that was certainly the case. I mean, yeah, he was ranked four, so you never know. He could be trying to push his way in for a title shot. Um, I doubt. I mean, he won't get it next. He won't get it next at all. I mean, does he fight Roy Val or someone like that? Albizi? I, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what Kai Cameron France does next. For Steve Erseg, probably Manel Cap probably makes the most sense, both coming off losses. Yeah, I, I, I think that makes the most sense. Manel Cap versus Steve Erseg, both guys coming off losses. Get that fight done. And yeah, I think that's a fight that people want to see as well, 100%. But, yeah, I'm pretty shocked by that result, pretty shocked by the result that we just seen, especially in the manner that Kai Kara France was able to do it in. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching this video. Okay, I'll speak to you on the next one.